You know what we do at uh, Federal Donuts? The, the, what the do you do? Donut comes out of the conveyor, and we have a beaver, and then we take two ears of corn, and we like whack it together, oh and vanilla. Dude, Boom. that's not in the book. <laughs> In each episode, we put a new food star in the hot seat to test their knowledge of where their food comes from. Hello, lovely people, and welcome to the True Food Challenge. I'm your host, Nicole Jolly. Our guest today won top honors at this year's Oscars of the Food World. Today's challenger is Michael Solomonoff, James Beard Outstanding Chef of the Year. His restaurants and cookbooks have put Israeli cooking on the American food map, and his empire includes Zahav, Dietzengolf, and Federal Donuts. Thank you for pronouncing my last name correctly Did and I? having me. Yes, yeah, high five right away. Crushed it. Right? Before we jump into our challenge questions, I do have a few icebreaker questions just to get to know you a little bit better. The first one is, what herb, spice, or condiment are you currently obsessed with? I have been fermenting our own harissa and our own wow. skug, which is like the Yemenite version of that, and I'm obsessed mm. with that. And I know it sounds cheesy because we also make it, Yeah. but it's very, it's good. Wow, so the fermentation does what to the chili? It's just giving it, it like funk. It. Yeah. yeah, it gives it a little bit of funk and it gives it a little bit more than just like incinerating just, heat. Yes. It's okay. so good. It is good. It is good. We have been um, sort of religiously eating at Goldie. Well, we've gone through all of your restaurants. So if anybody doesn't know, you have Federal Donuts, you have Zahav, you have Goldie, you have Dietzengoff. What am I missing? We have too many restaurants right now. <laughs> and you're uh, still expanding. You're now in Miami. You're uh -huh. here in New York. Yeah, and we have a lease signed in Nashville. Too That's right. Donuts. I read that. You're yeah, from New York, right? Yeah, I am. And now you yeah. live in Philly. Yeah, yeah. How's so that it going just, for you? It, yeah, I like it. I love it. <laughs> well, what Philly food thing are you obsessed with right now? It or, would be, yeah. For me? Thank you. Yeah. It would be really wrong to say that. I am obsessed with Goldie, wouldn't it? <laughs> it was, would that sound it's like I'm us. sucking yeah, up? That's fine, yeah. No, it's totally like it'll get you free to like eat milkshakes. I was going to say right. it's already my addiction. Just like put it right into the vein, right. please. Yeah, yeah. See, this is no, no, no. You're not. No, you're already cheating. No, yeah. no. Where's no, your favorite see, cheesesteak? See, okay. This will reveal that I'm not a true Philadelphian. I don't like cheesesteaks. That is the correct answer. Oh yes. Yes, yeah, good. yes. You did great. do I get 10 points you for that? You get 10 points. Okay, all Amazing. right, great. I would rather have a pork sandwich. Pork sandwich, and where, yeah. where's that? Where's is it your... predictable to say Paisano's? Uh, no, that would be sort of correct. Uh, Tony Luke's is really good, George's is really good, and okay. the uh, people in the audience? Steve Cook? John's. John's Roast Pork! Oh, they're going like for this, the they're win. going like this. Okay, I love it. <laughs> yeah. I okay. thought you were calling right, me a it's loser. On. It's oh, like, right. if, if there were like a lot of L-shaped <laughs> yeah. hands. Okay. Okay. All right. Um, we're good. Give me my questions. <laughs> all right. All right. We're gonna I'm jump gonna in the challenge. Wrong, will be, yeah. No, 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 no. You're not. You're not. Trust me. Okay. You get ten questions. Each one is worth a maximum ten points. Okay. Okay. We'll see how close you can get to a perfect hundred score. First one. Okay. I'm a I really, the first really. One. Test taker, just so you know. Just That's all right. I think you're right. going to ace this. Okay. Uh, so, in honor of the Federal Donuts Cookbook, I'm going to start with a question about donuts. Donut peaches. Huh? Do okay. you know these? Yeah. I yeah. Love donut all right. Peaches. Good. Yeah. Gorgeous, right? Yes. Why do you think they are harder to harvest than round peaches? Mm, what do I think? The donut peaches are harder to harvest than round peaches. Um, I mean, it would have to be with the shape, but I don't know specifically why. Maybe it's the way they pull off the tree, perhaps. I'm going to give you like half for that because yes, it is about the way that it pulls off the tree. It's not necessarily that it's flat, but if you think of the skin of a mm -hmm. donut peach, it's like tissue paper thin. It's much even much thinner, right, than the round peaches. So, I didn't know that fact. Yeah, yeah. Next time you bite into one, you're going to like, you're going to notice how like super, super I thin. I think since I got 50% on that, I might never eat a donut peach again <laughs> because of you. I'm sorry. Right? Yeah. I know you will always think of me now when yeah. you eat, yeah. Why eat donut peaches when you have donuts? Good, this is a good start. I think I think we'll, we'll get some momentum here. Thank you. Thank you for <laughs> faith in you. I have faith in you. Turn off the this next one is inspired by your tahina glazed donut studded with sesame seeds. Yes. Oh, so good. First, school me on tahina versus tahini. Uh, same thing. Same thing? Yeah, it's just the pronunciation. Is it like an anglicized? No, I think just... tahini is, I guess, would be more the Lebanese pronunciation, oh. and tahina yeah. is Israeli. I will never get that right, but you can say it good. for me. I'll pause and... 
Thank you. you know. <laughs> okay, so the question is, why is most of the world's sesame hand harvested? Uh, why is it? I think that because the machinery would destroy it. And I mean, the sesame pods are like tiny, tiny, yeah, tiny. They're yeah. like this. Yeah. Okay. Um, uh, let's see if we can get you there. Just give me a hundred points. <laughs> Just give me ten points. It I'll pronounce Kina for you the whole time. Okay. Well. Okay. okay. I'll, I'll give you two points for this question because you pronounced it. For okay. Me. Um. So you were getting there. So uh, first of all, what what really led me to buy your um Zahab cookbook is that you had a picture of like yeah, the, the sesame pod. plant. Yep. Yeah. In there, I was like, oh my god, this guy cares about like where his food comes from. I love Obvious, that. Obviously not. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, you didn't watch the harvest, right? Okay. Right. Okay. So those pods, um, most of the varieties, they split when they're when the seeds are ripe. Mm -hmm. So. If you kind of barrel through there with a machine, you're going to lose like most of your harvest. Mm -hmm. um, so what they do is actually go in there and they hand cut it right before it's ripe, and they bundle them up and they stand them upright so that they can control when those pods start to open. Then they know, okay, it's time to gather it. Well, I think that's weird though because when they actually process it, they yeah. throw so much out anyways. The hull. Really? Yeah. How about this? And I okay. won't even give you okay. points. All right. Or I might. I might I up your. Judge you. I might up your score. All right. Impress so, me. What they do in um, Nazareth, where we get all of our stuff processed, mm, mm. I always thought that getting the hull was like the most important thing. No, that's want... the stuff that comes off, right? Yeah, but I thought when you get the really good stuff, mm. it's just been like processed and pureed or whatever. Mm. But they rinse it, wash it, remove it, and they actually take the hulls, because there's so much waste, and feed it to the cows. Uh, isn't the hull a little bit chew like too chewy? Is that why they're taking it off? It's well, they're too... probably doing it because they want pure fat and they don't uh, want to mess around with any fiber sense. or yeah. anything like that. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. And even though the hull is like awesome and, and tasty and nutritious, I think to make a really smooth tina, mm -hmm. they um, they have to do it. Got it. So I don't think, but they All waste right, tons you anyways. Score. Thank you. Reluctantly, I'll give you six for that. One. Six. Thank you. All right. That's still a D. <laughs> Okay, your next one is, what two fruits were crossed to make a Meyer lemon? Uh, two fruits. Um, I don't know, does anybody in the crowd know this? Oh, no, 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 that's not allowed. L? Totally Lizard? not allowed. No, Stuff? no, 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 no. I don't know, it's like a lemon and an orange or something? A lemon and an orange. I will give you that. I will give you that. It's a mandarin orange, but I will give you that because that is, that's pretty, pretty sweet. Thank you so much. You make a killer lemon meringue donut. Thank tell you. tell everybody what amazing technique you use for the meringue. I love this. I think it's genius. I have no idea. What do you don't do know? Meringue? It's in here. You can yeah. you can you can no use you can't cheat. Torch. No, you can't cheat. It's great. You use a blowtorch, but it's not true meringue. It's fluff. Do you eat fluffer nutters? Do you oh, know? Yeah. Oh my god. Oh, I love fluffer nutters. oh yes. Thank yeah, you. So good. Thank you. That's that's so good. I don't mess around with bananas either. No, like, I don't want pure. Any, just yeah, pure. I don't want any fruit. Peanut know? butter and fluff, guys. That's a fluffer nutter. I think it's a regional thing. I don't think my mom was in the from country. the Midwest, so uh, that's that was like lunch. Yes, um, which is cra it's it's crazy because it's, it's candy. Crazy, it is. It's candy. Yeah. yeah. Sorry, this is a healthy <laughs> channel. I shouldn't be. Uh, forget that, kids. Don't worry about that. Um, but let's stay on marshmallow for a minute. Uh, <laughs> for your next question, <laughs> before candy makers discovered that they could use gelatin to make marshmallow, they used the gummy root juices. Mm. Oh, mallow. Of which plant? Mallow okra, right? Yes. Yes. Ten. It's Look a, at I'm you. full of useless See? information. No, that is not useless. You I know do. about food. I do. Here's something that I thought you might be interested in. That root extract that's not used, right, anymore for marshmallow, it's used in halva. Yeah. Did it you is. know oh, that? No, you knew that. Actually, no, mastic is what's used in halva. What's mastic? Mastic is the resin from the, um, oh, what is the tree? It grows in Greece? Um, Only in Greece? Yeah, I think it grows like on an island in Greece. Wow. And it's this sort of like, Specialist. it looks like dried sap. Okay. And you add it to the Turkish ice cream to make it stretchy. Yes. And actually the word mustique in Hebrew, it, that's what you call like bubble gum because the original bubble gum would have the would ground be... mustique in it. So I if you that. take the mustique, this resin from this tree, and you uh, mix it with sesame and trina and grind it in a mortar and, pe mortar and pestle, you have that. 12 hey. points. Oh! Look at that. Hey, Woo. hey. Da keep dazzling me, yeah. baby. Come on. All right, number five. Yeah. Okay, this is definitely not donut related. Um, marshmallow. But it's sort of in the We're vein off of what we Yeah, right? no, no, no. Okay. We are, but it's sort of, yeah, it goes with what sort of what you're talking about. So, what food is used to make linoleum? 
I have no goddamn idea. <laughs> Linoleum? <laughs> yes. How could anybody possibly know that? But it's freaking weird. All right, wait, wait, wait. wait. When you know this, you're going to be like, I am walking on, if you have linoleum. Eggshells? <laughs> That's just a phrase. I know. Uh, let me think about this. All right, what is in linoleum? <gasps> you can I, get that. No, I have no idea. Bones? Wow. Um, no, but that would be freaky weird. Okay, you're not going to get points for this, but I'm going to try to lead you there. So what is, um, what kind of oil... Sounds like linoleum. Can you just can you just tell me? Linseed oil. Thank you. Flax. Yeah, there's no way I would have flax. Done that. Flax. Absolutely. We're walking not. on flax. I think that bones would might be weirder. actually be true though. <laughs> don't your, aren't animal bones what, used in what everything anyway? What kind of flooring anyways? is in your kitchen? I don't know. Isn't aren't animal bones in like all-purpose flour sometimes? Oh wait, what? No. Right? Or wait, sugar? no what? No. Uh. Don't they I'll bleach? Get back to you aren't on that. things bleached sometimes with animal bones? That's interesting. I haven't heard that. Don't we have? Is there something but that I'll we can call? Anybody? Anybody? Steve In America? Cook? Steve, Steve Cook? Cook? Are you there? True. true? Is it true? Sugar. Sugar? Charred. Trying to feed him all Charred the bones. Charred bones? Charred bones. That's going to be on somebody else's some quiz. I want some points. All right. Okay? All right. I'll give you, I'm going to give you three. That's weird. Bones. <laughs> That's going to be on somebody else's questions, though. Thank you. Corn silk. What is the purpose of corn silk? Why is it there? Uh, oh, I mean, to insulate the corn, to separate the, the husk from the corn, to um, no. uh, promote, uh, I don't know. What, tell me, tell me what. <laughs> but that's a really good guess. That's what I thought before I... Is it related came. to wheat lacoche? I don't know. No, no, okay. it's not. So I have um, no idea. But it's, um, we did a whole video just dedicated to this because it's super weird. Um, but, okay, picture uh, an ear of corn and its husk. Yeah. That husk is like essentially like a chastity belt. Like no pollen is getting into that, that husk, <laughs> right? But um, there's tassels, right, that have the pollen on top. That's like the male parts. And the mm -hmm. female parts are the ear. Mm -hmm. And how is that to work? So <laughs> over time, evolution, each kernel of corn, right, sends out its own silk to catch the pollen and it's like a tube and it sends the pollen down. Wow. And so if you like pull it back and you're seeing like, you know, like it hasn't fully uh, pollinated. Like, yeah, it was like, me. yeah, that is. Sorry. It's like you're like playing Sorry, in those corn. like little naughty bits down yeah. there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Think about that the next time you peel corn, right? Mm hmm. So you peel it, right? You peel it down and, then, and all of the corn isn't sort of like fully developed. It's just because yeah. it didn't, you know, and not enough pollen got, got in there in time. There wow. you go. I feel sort of embarrassed. So back to marshmallows. Are you blushing? Yeah, I am. <laughs> okay, zero. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> all, right, all right, all right. We'll bring it back to donuts. I'll spare you. I'll Thank spare you. you. Okay. You, um, so at least a couple of your delicious donuts um, use vanilla cream glaze. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So there's pure vanilla extract and imitation vanilla extract. Oh, right? I, know what you're go I know where you're going with this. This what is like, is this is like kind of gross. Are you going to talk about like it's, vanilla beans also shooting? Bad. Oh, wait, 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 this, wait, wait, wait are we talking about vanilla extract? I yes. Think, I think what I know, I'm like almost scared okay, to wait, say wait, it out me, loud. Okay, wait, wait, let me actually ask you the question. All right. Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. <laughs> no, don't, don't. Marshmallows. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> That's going to be like what we say all the time. Now, marshmallows. Corn sex. Okay. Go ahead. What, what is imitation vanilla extract made from? I mean, I, what I'm thinking is like super gross, right? Is it a gland from oh. a beaver's, like a, like oh, a beaver's... Oh, that is not wrong. That uh, is not wrong. It's not what most is wait, made from, Wait, when you say that not isn't... wrong, that actually means right. <laughs> so give me my 10 points and explain to the class <laughs> okay. this filth that you guys okay. are promoting that's in your not show. Where, no, that's not where I was going with okay, this. Okay, go ahead. That is not the majority. Of imitation, but it, you didn't it say does... the majority. You said what is vanilla? You are absolutely okay. right. I do. I'm a pushover, but yeah, no, I'm giving you a nine for that. But it's yes, true. Uh, vanilla yes. extract comes from okay, the gland. Okay, but not most. Of... Not most. It's probably a... not what's on your shelf. It's probably not. But no. yes, there, it used to be from so beavers, can... anus gland. Ugh, it's their pheromones. Their pheromones have vanillin. Vanillin is the compound right that yeah. um gives vanilla its dominant flavor yeah. and they can isolate it from different things and yes they can get it from that but luckily they don't usually get it from that it's wood pulp wood, wood pulp, pulp has My answer yeah is which definitely is better 
Yeah, it is. It's yeah. pretty rocking. Yeah. They're getting it from wood pulp because they've got a whole lot of wood pulp left over from paper making. So it just, you know, it's probably economic. It's either that or there's like a team of people trying to arouse uh, beavers. <laughs> oh, my God. And they're like, this just isn't working. Oh, my God. This is what we're going to so do is like, you know what we do at uh, Federal Donuts? The, the, what the do you do? The donut comes out of the conveyor and we have a beaver. And then we take two ears of corn and we like whack it together oh and vanilla. Dude, Boom. that's not in the book. Why is that not in the book? Oh man, oh, kinky stuff going on at Purple Donut. Wow. Okay, we're gonna get a little bit cleaner then from here on out. Whew. Okay. Ratings are going up though as we speak. We're totally. It right totally. Now. It's all yes, we are crushing it. <laughs> okay, you make two strawberry donuts. Strawberries. We can't. We can't err with strawberries, right? We can, we'll keep it clean from now on, right? Okay, you make two strawberry donuts. Why are strawberry seeds on the outside? Um, I have no idea. Can you tell me why? Of course I can tell you why. <laughs> of course. Okay, so it's a, a, it's a little bit of a trick question. Um, those are not the seeds, actually. Those are the fruits of the strawberry. So what we consider the fruit, like the fleshy bit around yeah. the seeds, um, is... Have you seen a strawberry flower before? Yes. Yeah, all right. Yeah. So it has that sort of yellow conical middle, yep. right? So after fertilization, that middle swells up and turns red. And all of, again, that middle has all of these little, uh, you know, like kind of like shoots. Yeah. Those are being pollinated. Those become the fruit. And the sort of receptacle is the botanical term. Swells up, becomes the flesh of the fruit. Okay, I've heard that you have several tattoos, mm -hmm. and they're based on the seven species, right? Uh, one arm. One arm? Is, yeah. Oh, just, just one arm. Yeah. Okay, okay, got it. Um, can you explain to the class what um, the seven species are? Yeah, so the seven species was what in the Old Testament God said would be found in the land of Israel. Right. Um, and it is fig, date, olive, wheat, barley, um, pomegranate. Did you get them? Wheat, fig, date, wheat, Barley, olive, pomegranate, pomegranate, and what are we missing? Should we take a look? Yeah, we should take a look. Uh, grapes. Grapes. Easy. Well done. Easy. Okay. Yeah. All right. So this is the. I thought that was the. Uh... So this no, it's okay. not. Oh God, no! No, you points. should know what's on your I know, arm. I know. <laughs> I didn't actually get the look. <laughs> well, which one of these yeah. on your arm? Um, which one of these foods is actually an edible flower? Hmm. Flour, no. Barley flour, wheat flour. Would you like to look at your arm for inspiration? I guess I would say. Wait, are you saying which one of them has an edible flower? No, or which one it is, is an actually flower? an edible flower. People don't realize. You guys know this? No, but did it you can help you. I know it. Yes, um, because I did a video on it. If you watched my channel, Mike, you would know. <laughs> Awkward. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to say wheat. It's a good guess. I can see why you would think that. If you're an idiot. Yeah, yeah what is it? I didn't say that. Fig? You did. Fig? Yeah. I yeah. just looked. <laughs> no. Oh, oh, I was going to say you're not getting it anyway. Sorry. <laughs> Big Z. <laughs> so last one, you made it. <laughs> okay, which food crop claims the most farmland in the world? Um, <clears throat> uh, corn. I would have guessed that. I can understand that. You think that. It's also on your arm. Wheat. 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 Yeah. And it's also, let's bring it back to this, a fundamental ingredient in donuts, isn't it? <laughs> Good. Good <laughs> thank move right you, there. Thank you, right? Yes. Yes, thank yes. you so much. So what's my score? Forty-five. Oh hey. God. Almost, almost hey, half. You thought you were going to get none of these right. I know. I got yeah, 45 dude, more than I thought I was going to get. That is, I think this is a successful uh, True Food right. Challenge, right? Thank you so much. Thank you. So thank you, Mike Salmanoff, and we'll see you next time on the True Food Challenge.
We have so many more food stars lined up to take the hot seat. Don't miss an episode. Click that subscribe button.